But as we continue this global fight against COVID, two major players in the public health world are out with a new op-ed about what we need to start doing now to prevent the next pandemic. I sat down with World Health Organization Director, Dr. General Tedros, and former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg, who serves as WHO's Global Ambassador for Non-Communicable Diseases. I should note that I used to work at Bloomberg News before joining NBC. We talked about the WHO's response to the pandemic, getting the vaccines out now globally, and what a path back to normal life might actually look like. Mike, over the course of the last year, Johns Hopkins, Bloomberg School of Public Health, in some ways, in terms of data collection and, and tracking, you've almost taken the place of the CDC. Did you predict it would be this bad? Well, I don't know that we're, uh, number one, nobody knew. Um, it always had the potential and unfortunately, we did not respond the way we should have. People should have all put on masks. Most people did not. And that's the first thing. A mask was, you could argue, more important than a vaccine and people didn't do it. So a lot of people got sick and a lot of people died. My barber gave me a haircut, three days later into the hospital, came out in a box, 10 days later. Um, this is a serious virus and nobody knows when it's going to go away. Nobody knows if it morphs from one strain to another, whether or not the vaccines we have today will be adequate then. Um, but you can't take these things and treat them lightly. We're playing with people's lives. And unfortunately, our government did not do what it could do, although you can find people all the way up and down the chain. The governors didn't do what they should have done in many cases. The mayors didn't do what they should have done in many cases. The hospitals could have done things differently. I think. You have to understand when everybody is yelling and screaming and petrified and panicking, there's no right answer. And so it's easy to go and criticize World Health Organization. That's just a cheap shot. It's easy to say, well, we shouldn't send vaccine overseas. Yeah, wait until some vaccines are only made overseas and we want them to come to us. And they say, well, you didn't send them to us. We're not going to send them to you. We're in this together. The whole world is in this together. People travel. So if vaccines are the answer, uh, Dr. Tedros, and I know WHO does an enormous amount of work on vaccine equity, meaning how do we get vaccines to the poorest countries in the world? How do people here get convinced that that's a good idea, especially in the United States where we can't get enough vaccines for ourselves? How do you start to convince people that we need to be supplying them to other countries? It will have economic problem because the economic recovery will not be faster if we vaccinate some parts of the world but not the rest because in a globalized economy we will not have global recovery. So the livelihoods even in the rich countries will not return to normalcy and we will not be able to stop the pandemic. So moral bankruptcy Economic problems will continue. The epidemic will not be contr controlled if we don't share vaccines. So what we are saying to the wealthy countries is that sharing actually is in your best interest. Certainly in America, I don't think we're going to have a shortage of vaccines. It's not the supply side because it's coming on, the machines are getting faster and they're delivering them and that sort of thing. Not quick enough, but it's coming. You will have plenty of vaccine. Our problem is the demand side. There are an awful lot of people who don't want to take the vaccine. The anti-vaxxers, people who have other health conditions. And if everybody doesn't get it, then there's people out there that can, that can infect others. And so it may not be a supply problem as much as a demand problem. Now, you go to the less developed world, and then it's certainly going to be a supply problem because the numbers are so big and it's going to take a while to get there. I don't know, Mike. We're here in New York City. There's an awful lot of people who would love to get a vaccine, and we don't have access to it yet. You were once mayor of this city. When you look at the way our cities and states are actually getting them in people's arms, you think we're doing it right? Well, I'm not in office anymore, okay? Um, I have criticized the federal government. 
I've criticized the state governments and I've criticized the city governments. Uh, what I would have done day one is turn it over to the professionals. Who are the professionals that know how to distribute drugs and vaccines and that sort of thing? They're the big pharmacy companies. And you just hire them. Now, we've done some of that already, but it's been grudging to turn it over. Every governor wants to be able to stand up there and say, I'm making a decision in terms of whether you can open your restaurant, how many people you can put in your restaurant. That should not be left up to the governors. That's where you have health experts. And we're not turning to the health experts. And the health experts are the WHO, CDC, um, the, the big pharmacy companies, uh, the big drugstore companies. Um, you know, we know what to do. We just are unwilling to turn it over and let the delivery of the vaccine be in the hands of the professionals. But oftentimes people would say that the, the pharmacy companies, for example, those are businesses. Do you put that in the hands of businesses? Do you think that the well, governors they, they, don't want well, what's well, best for their Stephanie, states? Stephanie, you of everybody, anybody should understand capitalism really does work. I mean, if you give people an incentive to do something, they're going to do it. Our health and hospital system is based on capitalism. We charge and better hospitals get, get donations and they improve their health care. What's wrong with having experts who know how to distribute stuff? If you're afraid to go to your drugstore and buy uh, uh, cosmetics or drugs or whatever tri things they sell, I guess you can, but I don't think you really want to do that. These are the professionals. Well, the reason people wouldn't say lean on capitalism is because who helps the poorest, right? If you put it in the hands of a business, then they're going to care yeah, about... That's, that's just not true. You can give them an incentive to deliver it to different groups, different neighborhoods, in different manners. Capitalism really works. You just say to CVS or Walmart, uh, Walgreens, and, and say, this is what we want you to do. If you want the business, hear the rules. And they deliver enormous quantities of drugs all the time with very few errors.